Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, and welcome to another episode of Thyroid Thursday. As you know, in Thyroid Thursday, we take very many issues that are important to patients with Graves' disease and thyroid eye disease and try to give offer a little bit of education. So we really appreciate all of our subscribers on YouTube, and please subscribe if you enjoy our content. Today we're going to discuss why your face changes with Graves' disease. And even many physicians don't really know and understand that Graves' disease and thyroid eye disease affects more than just the eyes and the tissue around the eyes. This is an autoimmune disease that attacks the tissue in the cheeks, the fat, it attacks the tissue in the brows, and it attacks the tissue in the lower face, and it causes it all to expand. And many patients come to me and they say, why is my face changed? I've never had this lower face bulging or looking bigger or squaring of the face. And it's because of the thyroid eye disease causing an expansion of the fat. And in fact, some patients who just have bulging of one eye often just have bulging of one side of their face. And there are many options that we can use deal with this, but the first is to recognize it. So first of all, some patients just get a little expansion in the eyebrow region. And I call these kind of like the hot dog eyebrows. They just have these very, very full brows. And it's very hard to remove the fat from this area, but you can sculpt it a little bit, or you can even add a little filler and other material around it to make it look very, very nice. And full eyebrows and fullness in that area can actually be a very youthful appearance as long as we tone it down and make it look very acceptable. We can also do a little bit of sculpting in the upper eyelids to reduce some of the fat and the bulging there. Many patients really notice the fat bulging underneath their eyes. And a lot of times this goes away with decompression or moving the eyes back. But if it doesn't, we can always sculpt that fat of the lower eyelid. Now, this is actually a much harder surgery than just a normal blepharoplasty because the fat is very different. It has a lot of blood vessels in. So many people who do normal blepharoplasty aren't accustomed to dealing with this and can have problems. So it is something where you should really see a specialist if you're going to have this area addressed. The final area is why does the lower face get affected and why does it look different? Well, we don't know why it gets affected, but it's probably the same fat that's attacked everywhere else with Graves. And it's primarily in the lower cheek area. And this is really tough for some patients because it changes their whole shape of their face. And on our website, we have many before and afters of how we've, we've tackled this problem. And you can make a little incision inside the cheek and often suck out or take out some of that fat to give the contour back. We also have some non-surgical solutions, including Kybella and filler, that can help to touch up areas and, and dramatically improve it also, and those don't require surgery. But those are the typical areas that are affected and cause the face shape in Graves' disease, and there's many things that you can do about them. And I really urge that you see someone who deals with Graves' disease and thyroid eye disease, because these are a little more difficult than standard blepharoplasty. Certainly, if you like our content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we don't want you to miss any Thyroid Thursday content in the future. Thanks so much.